Are you a content creator? Do you have a YouTube channel? Want to monetize, promote, and protect your channel from intellectual property theft? At Aforevel, we will monetize, optimize, and protect your channel, helping you earn better. We also offer you professional content management support guidance. Join our network today and enjoy our premium benefits. Contact us at mcn at aforevel.com. This one is on your way out. Uh, I was coming to your house, you know. Ah, uh, I hope there's no problem. There is no problem. Uh, uh, I went on errand for you, uh, so I said, Let me come and see you. It has been a long time. Uh, uh, I'm on my way to Umweni. I, I hope there's no problem. Mazuka, for there is no problem. Ah. But uh, let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. Have I ever been of disservice to you before? Have I ever offended you in any way? Mbano. Mbano Mazen Divisi. But why? You know, I was thinking that considering how close we are uh -huh. and that we are friends, uh -huh. anytime you want to cut your palm fruit, you will let me know. <laughs> Mazen Dubisi, of course, I have not decided to cut the palm fruit yet. What are you telling me, Mazio Kaf? I just passed through your farmland now, and I saw the workmen that you hired cutting down the palm fruits. Ah, uh ah, -uh. uh -uh. What are you saying? Are you sure it is my farmland you saw? Mazio Kaf, don't I know your farmland again? Eh? Uh -huh. Is it not the road that I pass every day? Uh -huh. Or are my eyes deceiving me? I saw your workmen, they are there cutting down the palm fruits. Hey! Mazin Dubisi, up and dosh. Eh? Ndoshi thieves. What are you talking about? You did not hire them. I did not hire them. Hey! Who did not enter into my land to steal what belongs to me? Hey! In that case, Mazioka, we must go and confront these people. We must go. And we have to get some youths from the village because I saw them and there are many and they are armed with machetes. Come, come with me. I am and I will put so the flower. Stealing what belongs to me! You are standing here! 
call me an animal. You are a thief. You are a thief. thief. Yes. You dare call me a thief. Yes. If you are not a thief, what are you doing with my land? Stealing my palm fruit. This is not your land. It is my land. He called who owns this land. He sold those palm fruits to me. Hey. You are a liar. 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 No, 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 no. No, no. This is not how you do it. Um, did you think so? Well, I think that this thing should not be done that way. Igwe, you see, I think that... Let us go there, we are now going to see. Let's go and see. Okafo. Igwe! What is the meaning of this? Igwe, I found these thieves with his higher hands stealing my palm fruit in my land. Don't call me thief. Young man, what is your name? Your Highness. I am Amadi. Amadi. I uh, do not recognize the face. Are you, you are not from this land, are you? No, Igwe. I'm from Umudike, the neighboring kingdom. Ah, Umudike. So, if you are not uh, a native of this land, you cannot have land here. So what were you doing on um, Okafo's farmland? Igwe, I have not come to steal from him. I merely came to collect the palm fruits that was sold to me. It is a lie. I never sold my palm fruits. I tell you, Igwe, he's a thief. It is you who is a thief. The land does not even belong to you. Hmm? Ikoku owns the land. Ah, and he yeah. sold the palm fruits to me. What? Which ah. Ikoku? What do call Ikoku? Are you out of your mind? How dare you accuse me of being in court with you over stealing somebody's pamphlet? Shinekeme, you told me the land belongs to you and that if you shut your mouth, I shut it up for you. You thief. Look at this man! Iko, you deny me. Um, now listen, listen young man. I am going to give you another opportunity to defend yourself. But you must tell the truth this time. What else is there to say, Igwe? What else? The man is a thief. Simple. I say we should treat him the way thieves are treated. Of course, yes. Of course. Simple. Ikoku, sit down. I wasn't talking to you. I still wish to give this young man another opportunity to defend himself thank you Igwe. it was about a fortnight ago when i came to ikoku here and told him the problems i was having with the harvest how i had planted this season all died others eaten up by insects and ants I confided in him and I told him about the little money I wanted to invest in order to make ends meet. He told me about the pamphlets he wants to sell and suggested that I should buy them from him. He later took me to the land and showed me the pamphlet. He went. I paid him bags of cows. Them. And he said I could come back, cut them anytime I chose. That is a lie. That is a big 
lie. How come you say that I went with you selling somebody else's pamphlets to you? That is a lie. Ikoku, are you sure your hand is not in all this? I mean, we all know you in this village. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think twice when it comes to selling off your own blood, brother. Yes. <laughs> Would you mind what you are saying there, Undulisi? Mind the way you speak to me. Otherwise, you will regret the mouth with which you are speaking to me now. Igwe, with all due respect, I think there is an element of truth in what this man is. Yes, yes. oh, I mean, which man would leave his own village in broad daylight and come into another village just to steal palm fruits? Oh. It, it's unlikely. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's <laughs> my dear young man, it is my understanding that you have been duped. But as the saying goes, you should always look before you leap. How could you have trusted a person who promised to sell you a property in another village? You are not without blame there. He even told me that you are his brother. He said I could ask you or any person from this village. I took him for his words. Indeed, he's my brother. But if you had asked, you would have been told his true character. Anyway, the mistake has been made. I will give you all the money that he took from you. Thank you, Your Highness. And I am very sorry for the wrongs, all the wrongs done to you. God, Your Highness. Now, I want you to take him and his men and give them some water to wash and some food to hold their belly for their journey back home. Yes, Your Highness. Say, Mr. Puligwe. Ah, where? It appears you have decided to believe the words of a stranger against me. I have nothing else to say. The Koku. Iwe. You have forgotten that I know you like the back of my hand. What I don't know, what I don't know is how you got so bad as to do people out of their hard-earned money. Now be warned. I will not be saving you from this, this ridiculous scripts that you tend to get yourself into. So you better remember that when that evil in you begins to rear its ugly head. Did I ask you to come to my aid? Did I? I can do it myself without this your holier-than-thou attitude. Heavens, preserve me! Ikoku! did to yourself and the entire kingdom. The Umudiki people are renowned for their stealth in battle. Their warriors are feared by all. And what you did could have brought us into battle. A battle Umuome can ill afford because we haven't got the defense that it takes to, to, to fight such stealth. No, you don't mess about with such stealth. Now let me warn you. Our people say that the ear that does not listen will go to the grave with the head. If I ever hear you involved in anything underhand again, I'll banish you. Oh, yes. I'll banish you. Oh, you might make me do something we'll both regret. Now, you remember that. Ojuku. Ojuku. It is me that you will banish.
well. Mm -hmm. The food was sweet. Thank you, mm -hmm. That is why I went far. <laughs> Ah, so, did you finally go to your sister's? Yes, I went. Everybody was all right. She's in good health, eh? Yes, the husband even sent his greetings to me. Ah, Papa, mm -hmm. let me go to Chukuma's house. I want to see my battle around you tomorrow. Ah, my son, can't it wait till tomorrow morning? Ah, it's too late. Chukuma and his parents must have retired to bed by this time. No, Mama. Chukuma is expecting me, and besides, he wants to leave here in the morning, so I have to see him tonight. I still insist that it's very late. It's dangerous for you to go out this night. Woman, eh? you worry too much. Hmm? He's old enough to take care of himself. You worry too much. Nemeka, you may go, but you have to come back quickly. Like your mother said, this is a very late hour to go calling on people. Hmm? All right. Nine. Woman, mm -hmm. stop worrying yourself. Stop worrying yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I was telling you earlier, you know, Igwe sent me another and I went to see him. These people have a very funny time. Before sunrise. Are you sure you wake up before then? Give me my money. Abomma. Abomma. Hey, nine. Mm. You're already in the kitchen. Yes, nine. Good morning. Uh -huh. I have to go to Mazio Kafo's house. I hope all is well. Yes. Igwe sent me an errand to him. Hmm? Okay. I'll be back soon. Okay. Uh, hey, Nai. Huh? Have you seen Nemeka this morning? I've not seen him since I woke up. But Nemeka told us yesterday night that he's going to his friend Chukuma's house so that they can go hunting early this morning. And it's very possible he may have slept there. So it will be easier for them to go this morning. It's true. Nai, I'm almost getting worried. Hmm? Don't worry. That is how you always worry. <laughs> you worry too much. Our son is not a small boy. He is a man now and can take care of himself. Oh, no. Nah. Eh? Oh, don't blame me. I will not blame you, my dear. Eh? Let me go. I'll be back soon. Prepare something for me. Oh, my God. Come back. Eh? Did you know when he hunted the bears? No, I actually came to find out why he didn't make it again as we agreed. And he was not in your house? Also? No. I waited for him, but when I didn't see him, I assumed it was because of the lateness of the hour. Hey! What? Where is he? Where is he? That you did not see Nemeka? I did not see him. Hey! Hey! What are you telling me? Where, where is he, Nemeka, Mama? I am finished. The only eyes that I have to see, you're telling me a story about him. Please, I beg in the name of God, please come and find my son for me. No. You told me that you did not see the mechanic. I didn't see him, Mama. I don't know, Mama. My son left this house yesterday night and told me that he was coming to your house for your hunting to get. And you're here now telling me that you are, he did not see the mechanic. I, I didn't see him. He didn't ah! come to the house, Mama. The yeah. only eyes that I used to see you, I don't have another one. Mama, I don't understand. Please come. Hey! Oh, Mama, what is it? Hey! 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 Hey!
Stop ranting, woman, and no, tell no, me no, what's the matter. There's nowhere to be found. The man! <laughs> Papa, what is this thing about Nemeke? Papa, I don't know. I, I came to find out why he didn't make it again for hunting today, Papa. You mean Nemeke did not get to your house? He didn't come to our house. I didn't see him last night, but he hey. this morning, Papa. You mean you did not agree to meet any other place? We agreed hey. to meet in my house, but he didn't come to my house. That's why I'm here to find out. Hey. This is very serious. Hey! Then we... Please, come and find my son for me, please. Oh, oh, oh. Nahi! Woman! Nahi, woman! Woman, he came! We can take this matter to you, woman. Let us go to you, please. Come! We must... You will find me again. Let me get my son. Hey! 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 My enemies have finished me with me. <laughs> they have taken the proof of my womanhood. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> calm down, calm down. Right. Ma's in the visit, Igwe. What seems to be the problem? Igwe is my son, Nemeka. What happened to Nemeka? Yesterday in the night, Igwe, my son left the house for his best friend's house, Chukuma here. Up till now, he hasn't come back, Igwe. And no one has seen him since? Igwe, no one seems to have seen him. Igwe, that's my only son. Igwe, my only son is missing. It is not possible. God forbid. Never in this land. Never again. Igwe, you have to do something. Please do something for me, Igwe. Mas Indubisi, calm down. I'll send our men on a search party. And they will comb every inch of the forest until they find Nameka. Yes. Calm down. Now, come here, come here. Now, go on, get your men. All young men, get them. You go into the forest and search every inch of that forest until you find Nemeka. Is that clear? <laughs> go <Okay>. immediately. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Mas in the visit. I want you to take your wife home. Um, let us wait. These guys are going for a search. I have no doubt by the time they come back, we are going to hear some very exciting news yes. about Nemeka. Yes. Take her home. Be the bold man that you are. Yes. Be the strong man that you are. Yes. Protect her. Yes. Calm her down. Huh? Thank you. Our people say it is always better to look for a black ship in daytime. Yes. yes. I call you all here today because what has been happening in our land can no longer be ignored. I am talking of the disappearance of Nemeka. Mazi Indubisi's son. It is now seven days since the search for him commenced. And to date, we have not been able to get any iota of news. Allo. Allo. Abomination. Umwembe is no longer safe. How can it be said? When the whole inhabitants now have to look beyond their shoulders, Every now and then. This is not the first time this kind of thing has happened in this village. Hmm. Yes. The other time it was the widow where the children were stolen. All three of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. it was Azuk who was stolen mm -hmm. also. Now it is Nameka. This is so. Igwe, Igwe, Elders, I tell you that our enemies are at it again. Yes, very serious. Yes. 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 Um, that is why I called this meeting. What do you suggest we do? We cannot go to war with the people of Umachem. Even, even if we think they are involved in this with this kidnap. We are a small kingdom. We cannot match them in war. Even if we are sure 
that they are behind this evil. So what do we do? Have you people stopped to think that maybe someone from this village could be behind this disappearance? Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. oh, yes. Uh -huh. I mean, can it be a mere coincidence that soon after someone threatened to deal with Mars in Dubisi, his son disappeared? Mm -hmm. That same person, that same person has had one quarrel or the other with the missing people's relatives. Ha! Let us not throw stones at one another. What we have come here to do is to find a way of stopping this atrocity in our land. Yes. Yes. Asina, Abakwanu, Bo, Nyomamir, or Bo Fufu. Oh, yeah, Nala. Always open. No comment. I suggest we rally around all able-bodied youth who will stand the guard at night. <coughs> Mazarindo, it seems that you want whatever that is taking our children to extend its hand to yours too. Oh. Let it go! Uh -huh. Forbid it! Yes. Adindo, you can say, we are sons. Mine will not be a party to such a lunacy. Uh, yes. Well, uh, since it seems that you people cannot come to a conclusion on what you have to do by trying to solve the problems which you have at hand, I think I better take leave of you. This will not happen again. But if you flout our instruction, you will die. What the river is close by. I'm very soon. We'll be there. Now move. Very well. Eh? In fact, 
As soon as you finish this, I have another job for all of you. Another job? Yes. And that job is going to pay three times more than what I'm paying you here. You can count on us. No doubt. Actually, it is the Igwe's farm. You know the Igwe's farm very close to the Ungwangene stream. Yes, that is the place I'm going to take you to. But I thought that Igwe normally have his men that work on his farmland. Ah. Didn't you hear that the Igwe's farm last year did not make any good yield? That was why this year he said that some other people should go and work on the land. Maybe he will get better yield. Well, I, I think... I think I should go and show you this place now. So that when you finish here, you can go there and start. Eh? Keep your keep your hoe and neck or glasses down so that we can go. But can I? Yes. Are we not are we not going with our working material? I said you should leave them here. When you get there and I show you the land, then you can come and take them. Eh? What do you think? I'm tired. I'm tired. I can't go further. We've been walking in circles and finally deep ventured into the forest. Don't be tired. We are almost there. We keep taking wrong turns towards Ngene River. It's in Ngene Stream, now way behind us. How can Ngene Stream be way behind you? Yeah? Apart from uh, the, the farmland at uh, uh, Ngene River, there is also this one very close to the uh, Agbaku uh, River that I wanted to show you to. That's where we are going. What? Obaku River, near the village of Agowa. But I told you people that this job pays three times more than any job you have taken before. Eh? Come, let us go. No, I cannot go further. My parents have no idea. I'm out of the village. Me too. I didn't tell anybody. And here am I, in the hostile territory of Agowa. I'm no. going back. You just have to trust me. Don't you know who I am? No. I am Ikoku. Brother to the king, here's the question. The next head to the throne, you should trust me. Come, let's go, let's go, we should be there. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm going back. I'm going back. Let us just sit down for a while. Then, when we rest a little, I will take you people back home. Nah, nah, you're not, I'm not resting anything. I'm going back. Nah, you're not resting. I'm going back. Okay, you can go. Go. Okay. 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 There's confusion 
in the land There's cold motion in the land The young dogs are disappearing They're kidnapped and sold into slavery The mothers are crying child And the fathers are wandering but Ikoku is laughing because he knows he knows what he's doing. Hey, Ikoku, 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 Where? Where is the one that ran away? He's dead. I shot him. You were not supposed to shoot him. You agree that nobody should be shot. How, 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 how do I get my money? Ikoku, you prepare accordingly. But make sure, I repeat, make sure that nobody. Yes, I'm you are evil, evil, you are wicked. Aja, Aja, Aja is not yet back. Where do you say you sent Aja to? Aja never tells me where he goes to. Even at that, Aja has never stayed out this late. Look at the moon. He left our house. Have you told us he was going to Ikoku's farm? With your son Aja and daughter. Ikoku's gene. Ikoku's farm. Hey! Hey! In that case. Mm. Ikoku is the only person that will tell us where these people are. You are right there. You are very correct. Then, we must be at Ikoku's house very early tomorrow morning. That's it tomorrow morning. <laughs> into the compound of Ezekiel City and start shouting like dogs. <laughs> Our children are missing. They are not home up till now. Oh. So, since when has my compound become a place where charlatans like you come to look for missing people? They left saying that we are going to walk in your farmland. Yes! All right. So who brought this false information to you? That's what my son told me before he left. Yes. Right. Up till now, Azuka is yet to be back home. Back home. Oh. My son. So, now you think that I, Ikoku, as a queen has no money to take care of capable hands to work on his farm? No. Now, 
You leave this place before I vent my anger on you! Idiots! Charlatans! Come and dare me! Please, please calm down. Please calm down, calm down. Please calm down. Yes, I was told that a slave train passed through Amandu village only three market days ago. May Amadioha not let any of our children be part of their merchandise. Your Highness. These people almost lost their lives looking for the truth from Ikoku. I suggest he should be summoned here. Well, he has already been summoned and he must be here. But this is not the time for assuming or accusing. I have already summoned my warriors. And at this very moment, they are scouting the forest for the children and in no time, they will come back to us with some news. Perhaps, Your Highness, we should join the warriors in scouting the forest. Eh? How can we stay and eat and drink while our children are nowhere near home? I, yes. un I understand. I understand how you all feel. But we are doing everything we can. So I beseech you all, go home. Take heart. I have no doubt that Within a very short time, they will come back with some news. So please, go home. And like I said, may Amadioha not let any of our children be part of their merchandise. Yeah. Please. Go home. <laughs> Better for it. You know what today is. And soon the princess will be here. I would have come here yesterday, but I was just tired then. of the land have instituted. How dare you? We know. We know today is meant for the princess and her maids to come to the stream, wash their clothes and as well as have some leisure time. But, but what, you headless fool? The princess won't be here till sunrise. So we thought we could come earlier, do some washing and leave before she arrives. I will have you all punished for this. Now leave here before I double your punishment. We're almost true. Don't worry, I assure you the princess who don't even know we are here. And who do you think I am? The village clown? I dare say you are only a daughter to the evil's brother. And that doesn't make you the princess. How dare you open your filthy mouth to degrade my royalty? How dare you say? Let her be. But she does this with the entire princess here and deserves to be treated like a swine which she is. Her coming to the river to fetch water only made her an offender, not a swine. Now leave here both of you before I cross you off. No, let them stay. And what do you mean by let them stay? If there's anybody that has been offended here, it is me. I dare say, I have said, let them stay. You are not the only one being offended. You are not the only royal blood in this village. Well, I, Ugoma, still stands as the only princess this village has. Ah, and if I think it should be me, 
They shall leave. Now leave here, both of you. No. Princess, please, we would like to leave. I said no. Stay here and keep me company. Now, what did I hear you say? Adeze, daughter of Ikoku, my father's younger brother. Except you have gone deaf, Ugoma. Perhaps you can ask the sheep you move around the village with. Your Highness, I expect you to slap the living daylight out of this idiot or you give us charge to you. You tell your mother that. Adeze, you have overstepped your boundaries. What strong wine did you drink today that has made you forget your place in line? As you mean, there is a line, Ugoma. You and I stand equal until the day we are married. Do not force me to carry out my duties on you, Adeze. I'm already forced to carry out mine. Neka! Neka, come back here! I said come back here! Ah. Now, both of you, carry on with your wash. And I say you should leave the street. I said carry on with your wash. And I say you should leave the street. This I and leave them the ah. ah. Leave the street! You mean all this? Yes, Your Highness. Those were her exact words. Such insult and treason against royalty. She must be punished accordingly. My dear, she's my brother's daughter. I love her like my own. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Moreover, disregard for your daughter for what she stands for. Because an arrogant child is your brother's daughter. All right. Uh, Take two people to the stream and bring her here immediately. Yes, Your Highness. I guess I am tired of your insubordination. And I am tired of your own high-handedness. What is wrong with you? Is it my fault that your father is not the equal? Ah, did you ask your father how he got to be the equal? My father is the rightful heir to the father throne. Is not the my father, father, father is the rightful heir to the throne. Your father is not. My father is the rightful heir to the throne. Your father is not. He is not a person. Get her. Get me for what? Get me for what? Get me for what you do! I'm not the liar! I will deal with you! I will make sure you cry your eyes out! And I'll tell you next! I will you! I'll tell you I will kill you! I will make sure that you cry your eyes out! I'll tell you next! You've seen what you have done. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I couldn't stand the sight of watching it hurt. So you know Adeze is my cousin. You just made things difficult between both of us. I'm sorry. If my princess would like to punish me, please do not hesitate. Well, since you said that, your punishment will be to get to that river before me or you will not be fed for days. <laughs> I got them for you. You will not eat for days.
Better buy wine. Ah. Do you know what good wine is? Yeah, but I enjoyed it. You always come here to drink good wine. When I give you wine, you must know that the wine is good. Don't tell me. I never drink wine. Engage you. Is your house on fire again? Wrong question. You are here while your daughter is being degraded at the village square. Whose daughter? Mosul, you better watch the gossip you peddle around. Don't you know who Ikoku is? Who dare disgrace the daughter of Ezekwesle? Tell me! Ikoku, your daughter is being flogged publicly by the great guards. What? You mean, or you could dare to flog my daughter in the public? I heard that she has a little quarrel. A little quarrel with Ugoma. Even though where is she? You know where is she? Little quarrel. Ojuku! 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 So, this is how you felt you can get at me. Taking advantage of an innocent girl to taunt me. So you are proud of what your daughter did, Ikoku? Look, I am proud of anyone that respects and enforces the laws of this land. So that was what your daughter was doing when she was arguing and insulting my daughter, her princess, in public. You taught her that. Listen, my daughter is not a commoner. My daughter is a princess like yours. How dare you? How dare you raise your voice to me? This is what you have taught her. I taught my daughter to stand up for justice. And no matter what, she will always stand up for justice. Yes, she will learn the right justice to stand for. After spending 14 days with my daughter. You, you take yourself as holy and I the devil. That was why you chose to humiliate my daughter, to elevate your daughter. Papa will really be proud of you in his grave. <laughs> Ikoku, you are an arrogant fool. And you will remain so. If you continue like this. But let me tell you something. I, I, Ojuku, will never allow your part of the family to humiliate the crown as long as I live. Oh, that was why you chose to humiliate me. You took away my royal guards, flogged my daughter in the public, and made a slave to yours. I, I am waiting for the next embarrassment you are going to give me. Long live your highness. As a question, you sent for us. The morning thunder, you seem so sad. Why won't I be sad when my daughter, my bride, has become a slave to Ojuku and his family? God forbid. So the Ugwe's madness has gone to this extent. She, I don't even have any royal guards anymore. I am now a commoner because my own blood brother has turned me to that because he's an Igwe. Uh, but you know, see, you are the heir to the throne. That is if the pregnant Lola doesn't give birth to a baby boy. No, she won't. The gods are not blind. I... I need you. I need your help. Um, what do you want of us? If we can, we will. 
I need you regularly. Especially now that I want both of you to go to Agowa village for me. To contact at least a dozen warriors. Warriors for your guards? A dozen warriors? Tax! It's a lot of money. I cannot go because of the gossip. That is why I want you to go for me. But you have to leave very, very early. The earlier, the better. When you come back, I will tell you why I need them. It's done already. Thank you very much. It's done. So, go well. So, greet your family. Bye-bye. You must go. Remember, the Lolo is pregnant. And any time from now she's going to deliver. She definitely needs your help. Mama, Papa, why must I be a slave to them? Eh? I'll be an object of ridicule to the entire village. Daisy, <laughs> not for long. Not for long. <laughs> the gods willing. Ugoba is going to be your slave one day. I promise you that. <laughs> that is when and if you become the Igwe. It will take years. Adeze, leave the forecast to me. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a reason for asking you to go. What's your reason, Papa? When the time comes, you will know. Now, go with them. I don't want to go there. You just have to go. You must go. Guards! Let's do a question. Take highway. You don't touch my Lodo. Just informed her what her duties are this morning. Make sure you do that. Ada, I hope you slept well last night. You had me thrown into the servants' quarters and you asked me if I slept well last night? Ada, your commanding here was not my decision but my father's. I brought a mat for you here and I made sure they gave you any meal you wanted. Thank you very much, madam. Nice woman, but I have duties to attend to, which includes washing of plates. Ada... Even I do wash plates when it's necessary. I enjoy doing it. How befitting of a princess. Can I go now? Ada, I want you to know that I am your cousin. We share the same blood. If you don't like where you are, you can come and share my room with me. In fact, move your things to my room. Thank you. Our princess. But I know my place. Ata, I want you to know that I love you like my own sister. And I loved your mother the same way I love my own mother. My only wish is that you understand me. I understand you perfectly. Just the same way my mother understood your mother before she died.
What's happened here? The plates fell and broke. While you were doing what you did. You must be flogged for this carelessness. Let her be. Let her be. Your mother will not find this funny at all. No, so these are the royal plates. Don't worry, we'll get another one. Tell her I broke them. But she's the one she's she... alright, Neka. Just do as I have said. Okay? Enough for me to wash. You have no choice, young lady. I will not touch them. Really? Would you like to discuss that with the lol yourself? Or you'd rather I do that for you? I thought as much. Don't be for her. And make sure they dry by sundown. I don't know why Papa asked me to come here in the first place. I should have escaped before now. Eh? What is all this? God knows I won't touch this clothes. I won't touch this. I won't touch it. Look at look at the clothes. That is it. I will be going to the market square and around the village. I would like you to come with me. I will not be subjected to your escort train. No, you're coming with me as my cousin. I am not in the mood to play group play. Our princess. I already have my friends. Okay. If you wish, only you and I would go. I just want us to be together. <laughs> I choose my friends. They don't choose me. Sir.
from the palace. Throughout this afternoon, we were dancing and drinking and eating because the Igwe now has an heir to the throne. All the elders were there, but we didn't see you. <laughs> Good morning. Let's go. I am not in the mood for visitors. At my own time, I will see you tomorrow. Say the men of the Udan kingdom have come to pay homage to your baby. Okay. I hear the sound of the Ecolo. Is the child dead? Wait, Papa. You knew all along that the substance you gave me to give the baby would kill him. Uh, what does that matter? The child is dead. But Papa, you told me that the substance will not kill the baby, but only make him ill as, as a revenge to what they did to us. It doesn't matter. Okay, Papa, what if they find out that I poisoned the baby? Papa, I killed a baby. <laughs> Look, that baby came to take everything from us. And if that child remained the heir to the throne, then we lose all the chances of I becoming the Igwe and you becoming the real Adese, a princess. We'll be lost. You did the right thing. At least I am still heir to the throne. Now, you go quickly to the palace so that they won't miss you. Okay? Go back quickly. Go back now. <laughs> it is our time. Now, go quickly. Go. Yes, Papa. <laughs>
your highness. I, Ikeoku, your brother, Ezekwesili, the morning thunder, have come to pay tribute to the newborn child. The next Igwe of this village, today, I shall celebrate with the gods. <laughs> Igwe. Have you not heard, Ikoku? Have you not heard what happened? What happened? Did Lolo have twins? The child, the newly born child, died in his sleep. Hey! Mm -hmm. No! <coughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you know me! No, 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 no. The gods must be questioned. Why can the gods do this to us? After we have waited all these years for that child, why? Why, 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 why? Oh, why, 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 why? Good morning, Sonda. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. How can I calm down? How can I calm down? When the Igwe loses a child, I also lose a child. Oh, God. Oh, gods of our land. How could this have happened? Why? Why? Why has the joy of my heart taken away from me? Why? And I said to myself when I was coming here today that when I come here, I personally will name that child and call him Obina. Hmm? I thought you told me you were not going to sell the land. I didn't sell it. I didn't sell it. So what are they doing there? The woman is a widow. These are her children. This woman is a widow? Yes, she With is. all this strong looking boy? Uh, they work to earn a fee because they need money. I'm just helping out. bothering you? What is bothering you? You know, since my wife died, I have been very, very lonely. I, I would like to marry the widow and take care of the children. You mean the widow? Yes. Is that a joke? You say that. There are younger women in the village. It's just a few weeks Igwe lost his son. Now you, his brother, wants to get married. Yes, I want to marry her and take care of the boys. What? What about arranging for marriage? The arrangement is yours. Thank you very much. Wait, 
children are still at their uncle's place. I thought we agreed a fortnight ago that these children should come here and stay with us. No, no, but what is the use? They are all grown up and are here to accept our marriage union into their hearts. Look, listen, my dear. Very soon they will get used to me. And they will start calling me father. It just takes a matter of time. Well, I think you should bring them. You need some people around to help you. No. Why don't you bring back your daughter, Adese? She can help me. Oh. Forget Adese out of this matter. Very soon she will get married. I insist you must bring your children. No, I have tried, though, but they, they refuse to come and stay here. You know, they love and really miss their father. Well, in that case, I think we better cancel the marriage. Because uh, I cannot live to see a dead man making me a stranger from your own part of the family. Nice. Don't be passionate, please, nice. please, please. Okay. Okay. You will bring them into this house so that we can make them princes and you, the law law, when I am crowned as Igwe. Let me something to eat.
is grumbling about. Eh? Don't you know that this is the best thing for us? But Mama, how can we live in that man's house and call him father? <laughs> My son, that man is the only heir to the throne of this village. Eh? And when that man becomes the Igwe, you boys will automatically become the princess in this village. And I, your mother, the law. Mama, is it true? It is true. I tell you, it is the best thing that has happened to us. Come on, let us go. been a very great man in his time. You are all already princes. I will take you to the Igwe. I told them. I told them that very soon their lives will never be the same again. That they will not have to go to anyone's farm to, to work anymore. Never. Not now that I am your father. I hope you have learned a lot and benefited from your stay here. I know it was only supposed to be 14 days, but the big tragedy that um, befell us made your stay longer. But now it is time for you to go home. I'm glad, Your Highness. Well, greet your father for me. and. Uh, Oh, by the way, I heard that he's just taken a new wife. A new wife? For what? <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it is true. I have not seen. But when you get home, you'll get the truth. And, oh, by the way, um, your auntie and your cousin have a little present for you. You may go. Uh, one of my guards will escort you home. I will go with her, my father. Um, uh, no, Igwe. That will not be necessary, as I intend to stop by at my late mother's place before going home finally. Very well. Well, as you please. they said my father took. Who 
on earth authorized that? No woman dead or alive will ever take my mother's place and expect me, Abeze, to call her mother. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> Yes, thank you, my dear. Mm -hmm. You know, I am just coming from the palace. Mm -hmm. I was having a meeting with the elders. And you know what? They have decided that I bring their law law to be to come and see them at the palace. Really? Yes. <laughs> my, let me change. No, you don't have to. You are just okay like this. You mm -hmm. know what? I want them to see you in your real natural self. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Come on. No, wait. Chima! Chima! Mama? Uh, Chima, you the firewood, eh? Boy, I'm, I'm coming. My legs, okay. I'm going to be mom. Yes, right. Mate, where is Mama? Ah, she is still at the palace. You know, the President Igwe says that I should come and bring all of you to the palace. <laughs> I said it, Tim. I told you people, I know they want to know us, the future prince as well. Your prediction was very, very correct. Now, drop everything and let us go so that we can come back before it's too late. My, the yam is still on the fire. Oh, forget about the yam. We'll eat it when we come.
There's confusion in the land There's commotion in the land The young ones are disappearing They're kidnapped and sold into slavery My darling, you are finally home. I didn't think you would come before the New Year Festival. Oh, Papa, I would have died by then. I can't stand Ugoma and that stupid father of hers. Don't worry, my dear. Just be patient. Patience, patience, eh? <laughs> hey, Papa, what's this news I heard that you took a new wife? Which new wife? What for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no new wife. And don't mind them, these people who keep on peddling rumors all around. People of Umudike. This is a message from Igwe Eliwuzo. He says that all the elders of this land should assemble at Igwe's palace immediately for an important meeting. The people of Fumudike, this is a message from Igwe Eliwuzo. He says that all the elders of this land should assemble at his palace immediately for an urgent meeting. What can be so urgent that he way summoning us to his palace this early morning? I hope all is well. Mm, I hope so too. But no, no. Until we get to the palace. Uh, we better hurry and change. Yes. This is a message from Igwe. Uh, Igwe, mm -hmm. we all came as soon as we had the call. We hope all is well. Well, it is said that the toad does not run in the daytime for nothing. Yes. I call you all to share a message. The SMO came to relay to me in this palace yesterday night. Igwe, what message did the SMO bring us from the gods? Yeah. And we hope it's a message of goodwill. Hmm. The SMO came to tell me that it has been revealed by the gods of the land that there will be a five year famine in Umudike land. Eh? Five years? Igwe, what have we done to deserve such punishment from the gods? Uh -huh. Igwe, did the gods reveal it to be so? Yeah. Have we unknowingly angered the gods? Yeah. The SMO said the gods are silent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Something has to be done. Oh. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. How do we feed our family during the period of famine? Uh -huh. Chai! Five years. Five long years of famine. Surely, we all are going to die. Uh, but to fear no. what? The gods of our land cannot treat us so. Uh, Igwe, what do we do? That's a question that has consumed my thoughts since. I have had sleepless night, thinking of how to fashion out a solution to this problem. I think 
we have to look out for one of these villages that are blessed with fertile land and go into alliance with them, at least to survive these five years of famine. Alliance? Alliance just said? Uh, Igwe, assuming we are able to find such a people, how are we sure that they are going to agree to a proposal of alliance? And what do we give them in return? That is a bridge we will cross when we get to it. Or do any other person have a better suggestion to make? I can let you go one one. Oh. Well, in the absence of that, I suggest we all go home and ponder over this. By the time we meet again, we will be able to fashion out a solution to our problem. It is good you are here. I had wanted to send a messenger to tell you my decision over the revelation of the gods. <laughs> I know your decisions, your highness. And it is good. The gods sent me to you with a message to serve as a guide for you to follow. <laughs> I'm all ears. Your Highness, you shall make a journey across the river to a village called Umome. Umome is blessed with acres and acres of fruitful and fertile land. It is with them that the alliance shall be made. As a more, there is a problem. Assuming these people the people of Umome show interest on the proposal. What do we offer them? That's the problem. What do we offer them? Your Highness, the Igwe of Umome has a pretty young daughter as an only child. He has no heir to his throne except his wicked younger brother. A marriage arrangement has to be made between the prince, Prince Ugoji, and the princess of Umuomi. That way, we shall offer protection to the throne and the people of Umuomi in exchange for sustenance from the riches of their harvests. Well, as a more, I have learned not to question the will of the gods. So, may their will be done. The will of the gods are mysterious. And for we mortals, we bend wherever the wind of destiny blows us. The gods have spoken. Father, I cannot do it. I cannot, I cannot be used as a sacrificial lamb in order to save the people from a supposed five years of uh, famine. <laughs> but this is the will of the God. And there's nothing one can do about it. Father, they can just, the gods can just go ahead and unwill it because I am not in the least bit interested in, in this scheme of theirs. Watch what you say. Before you bring the wrath of the gods upon yourself. Ukoji. Do you realize you are the only head to this throne? And these are your people we are talking about. Father, I can't just tie myself to some woman that I do not know just because of fertile land. This idea is preposterous. Why are you so opposed to this? Definitely you must marry in order to produce an heir to this throne. Yes. I know it is sudden, but I, I don't see any trouble in it. Father, I had hoped that when I want to marry to be a girl of my choosing, because I love her. Because the, the, the sight of her gladdens my heart. 
Not because of fertile land. You are not a commoner to engage yourself in such frivolous fancies. What is love without dowry? The princess of Umoma Island is becoming to the eye. She comes with a remedy to our problem. And this will only make Umudike people love and respect your reign. That is what counts. Well, I know it is so sudden. But think about it. Prepare yourself. In the meantime, our people will prepare for a journey to the people. Please, you don't seem to be enjoying the sport. Is anything the matter? I'm sorry, my friend. It's just that I'm too troubled to be enjoying the sport. Maybe some other time, some other day or something like that. So, do you care to share whatever it is that is troubling you? <sighs> Suffice it to say that by this time yesterday, I, I wasn't thinking about marriage. I mean, it was the last thing on my mind. But now I find out that I have, I have to marry a princess from another land that I don't even know in order to procure fertile lands for my people. I mean, it's... My prince, what is wrong in choosing a woman to call your own? I, I know you're not opposed to the opposite sex. Yes, but at least I, I, I thought that I would have enjoyed bachelorhood a lot longer before I start thinking of marriage. And so the mantle of honor has finally fallen on your shoulders. So you have to carry it as it's your destiny. You know, sometimes I envy you. You have no responsibilities to nothing. <laughs> my friend, Please. no more sowing of white oats for you, my friends. <laughs> well, let's just hope uh, the maid in question turns out to be very ugly. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it's alright, it's alright, my friend. It's okay. Look, lighten up. That is how it should be. My friends, marriage isn't that bad. Especially not when you are young. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I can prepare food for my father, you know. No. This family season is very serious. I heard Man Zemadi was chipped when he went into that village to get crops simply because his family did that. Nothing this is you can imagine that. That's not all though. Hey, I heard my father and a friend talking this morning. People are beginning to complain that their farmlands are dying out. They say that the prince must marry the princess of Umume across the river so that they will help us out in times of famine. Hmm. How is that possible? Okay. I tell the girls that we all know that the prince has the mind of his own. That idea may not find favor with him. Besides, it is so unfair marrying someone because of what games you can get from it. Nay, he, he will have to do it whether he likes it or not. Hmm? My only regret is that I had always hoped that when it's time for the prince to choose his wife, that at least he will find me worthy. <laughs> Hey, look at me. Dream! Dream on! Have you forgotten that the mm. prince will choose a bride that has royal blood running through his face? And you're here talking. You're waiting for a prince. <laughs> he will marry me. Go on. Marry you. Mm. Look at your legs. Just look <laughs> at your legs. Marry you. Look at my arms. Eh? There is no way. When you are talking, talk. Remember that I think the patient says, Wait, I can always be more than I like you. Um, was Ikoko duly informed?
informed of this meeting? Yes, Your Highness. He was dealing Who informed him? Who informed him? He was informed. He was informed. By who? He was informed. He was informed. Elders of Umome, I greet you. Um, I called this meeting today because I believe that the gods have placed the answer to our problems on our lap. Two days ago, on Oriya Day, to be exact, a delegation paid me a visit. That delegation was from Umudike. They were sent by the Igwe Eluwuzo of Umudike. He wanted to know if it was convenient or it would be convenient for us to receive them in a fortnight's time. Because it is their intention to come and ask for the hand of our daughter, Ugumma, in marriage. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Congratulations. 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 That is a very good news. But uh, how does it uh, solve our problem? Oh, ah, that is not all. My elders, it appears that the gods have revealed to the people of Umudike that there will be a five-year farming on their land. So you see, the proposal is not only for marriage, but also for an alliance of the two kingdoms. Hey. You have a point there. Yes. He has no point. He has no point. He has no point. What is good about it? 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 What is good about Elders, elders, please. Elders, I plead with you. Please, do not let us come to any hasty or harsh conclusions. What we should think about is what is there to be gained in this proposal. You all know that we are but a small kingdom. Size. But richly blessed. Yes, size. I have only one child, a female. And a woman, a woman cannot succeed to the throne. At all. At all. Oh, all. Of course not. That's but we still need security. Yes. yes. So you will agree with me that our throne is not safe. At all. You all know that Umudike, on the other hand, is renowned for his might in battle and confrontations. Yes. His warriors are feared by all. Yes. yes. Is it not so? Yeah, 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 of course you will. That we know. Cowards! So what? what cowardice? Coward. Coward. What, what are you talking people? about? Hey! They they people. It is true. Like yes, right. Then, would it not be wise of us to, 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 to discuss this proposal? rather than leave ourselves wide open and see our kingdom go into the wrong hands. That's a sale of Umu Ame to Umudike. It is not a fuck. 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 Neka, do you know why my father called the meeting with the elders this morning? I'm not sure, my princess. But I think it has something to do with the visit to Modike people paid for you. Maybe. Well, I'm sure Onoha will tell me everything this evening when I see him. Onoha, eh? Yes. So that is how it is. 
love him and he loves me too. I am happy for both of you. My only wish is that I find someone who will love me for myself and not because I'm a princess, which it seems is the only thing my suitors see in me. My princess is beautiful. Very much so. I believe you'll find love when the time is right. When is the time? Will it ever come? Very soon. Very soon. You look beautiful. Oh, happy for you. Thank you. My dear, your father sent for you. I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem. I believe you have something to tell you. sent for me. I hope all is well. <laughs> all is very, very well. I just want uh, to intimate you with the fact that uh, soon Prince Ugoji of Umudike will be here to ask for your hand in marriage. What? Yes, my daughter. It is the pride of every good mother to see that her daughter is greatly sought after. Yes. It is easier to make a choice, and I think that the choice between you and the prince is a favorable one indeed. But why me? I haven't met the prince, and he doesn't even know me. Why would he really want to marry me? <laughs> oh, like a child she speaks. You see, my dear, the prince doesn't have to have met you for the marriage between both of you. Yes. It's arranged. What matters? Is what is to be gained from such a union. Which is? Protection and preservation of your birthright. Yes. An assurance of a worthwhile heir to the throne in such a union. And it doesn't matter how I feel. Don't I have a choice in this? I'm afraid no, my daughter. Not this time. There's too much at stake. Think about it. I think I have given our daughter too much freedom to make her own choices. And if I leave her to decide this, she will definitely turn down the prince as she turned down all the other suitors. I, I, don't, I don't understand her. Don't worry. She will come around. I believe that when she sees the prince, she will have nothing to object to. Yes. Please, my dear. Well, I hope so. I truly hope so. I'm tired of this meeting. Nothing good comes out of it. The same story all the time. And you never learn anything out of it. But you should have endeavored to come to this one. Yes. What happened at this meeting? Your brother is considering an alliance with Umudike. What? And what did the elder say about this proposal? If not me and Oduma, other elders. They are in the palms of his hands. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I had thought that my brother will know not to play with the tail of a tiger. Uh, but tell me, Ngozer, on which side are you? 
on the side of the ego or on my side. I have said it many times. I am with you always. Can you and my father think of accepting a marriage proposal without my consent? How can I marry someone I don't even know and love? You will get to know him when you start courting, my dear. What matters is that the prince is a very good choice and the marriage will be a profitable one. Profitable to my father and the prince, surely not to me. Ugoma, you have to be honored that the prince have chosen you. Yes, the love will come. You will see it. It was so with me and your father. And your dowry assures that. Indeed, mother. So I should rejoice because the prince is marrying me for what is going to get out of the union and not for me. Ugoma, I wish you were not trying to make this hard on everyone that is involved. Your stubbornness to accept this situation will hurt you at the end. Don't turn this into a torso because your father will not be happy with you. Has my father taken a decision? Yes, I'm afraid. He has a favor in the marriage. He has given his uh, consent to proceed to the traditional rights. I want you to understand that your father was the best for you. And to him, the marriage, the choice between you and the, pri the prince is a sweet one. Please, my dear. Come and help me select the base. Please. I don't know him and I don't wish to know him. Everything will turn out right. Eh? You know it's for the good of everyone involved, including you. Ikoko, what seems to be the problem? Ojuko, what is this I am hearing? That you are entrusting this village into the hands of a stranger? Ikoko, if you attend meetings when they are called, then you will know what is going on in the land. Ojuko, answer my question. Is it true what I heard? That you have entrusted this village to a stranger as dowry for your daughter? It is true that I have formed an alliance with Umudike. Yes, the marriage of Prince Ugoji of Umudike and our princess will seal that alliance. Are you out of your mind? Are you mad? How can you give what rightfully belongs to me to another? And what do you mean by that? What I mean? Is that I should be the true successor to this son when you are dead. And so it will not remain. Never. Never. Ikoku, I say never. I would rather die than see this throne of this kingdom in the hands of the likes of you. I say never. So be it, Ochoku. So be it. to dream of what life would be like with someone who truly loves me. How would love one another, cherish one another. Now I find myself doomed to a loveless marriage with a prince who only wants me for my land. Don't despair, my princess. You may never know. The prince might turn out to be the man of your dreams. And as they tell it, the prince is fair to behold. 
as they tell it, his favored and missed maidens. And I can't help but despair of ever holding such a one's attention for long. My princess shouldn't talk down on herself at all. I'm yet to see anyone more beautiful. The prince can't help but fall in love with you. Okay. Let me sing you a song. But you join me. Take ma sara onyem nere ji sara. Ori ma sara onyem nere do sara. Abo ma sara onyem nere no sara. Ori ji sara onyem nere zo sara. Aneri eri sara. Anatayata sara. Akataka sara. Akampoto sara. Onye jiji nye tu wane ya anaya mechi ama Bato sobya wereji agame nye tu gini bu wane Bukwa onye mnyereji, bukwa onye mnyeradu, bukwa onye mnyeradu Peace of the gods. The eyes that see sitting, what even the elders cannot see standing. You are welcome. To what do I owe the honor of this visit? Igwe, I greet you. I greet you too. Igwe, I bring you a message from the gods. Sako Sario Magana, Odonwayon. Beware of the chameleon that springs out at night. Beware of the bypass tongue. Nothing comes from it except lies that destroy. Esemo. But I, I, I don't understand. There is a pattern of deceit and betrayal being woven in this land. Igwe, I sense an evil unrest. Blood. Blood will be spilled. I, I, I thought the gods were in support of the alliance with Omudike. They gave their blessing to the union of my daughter and the prince. Or have the gods changed their minds? No one. No one can ever put on the minds of the gods. Everything is still as it should be. The falcon and ego must come together to rest. It is only then that there shall be peace on this land. Igwe, beware. Gods have spoken.
everything is all right. Your food is ready. Thank you, my dear. Um, I shall be with you in a moment. No, you're about as a must visit. What about it? Ever since as a must visit, you've not been yourself. I cannot help but worry. Is the message from the gods a bad one? He said, there's an evil wind blowing. Has it anything to do with our daughter's marriage? Our daughter's marriage proceeds as planned. Come. Come. Come with me. Come and sit with me while I eat. There's confusion ah, in the land. Ikoku, what could you have been thinking that you didn't even hear me calling? What else? Hey. The lion has been cornered. Hmm. He has to find a way out. Um, have you confronted your brother? And what did he say? He did not deny it. Eh? But he had the guts. He had the gods of telling me that he would rather die than see me on the throne. <laughs> My brother has declared war between both of us. We will see who wins. I am behind you. That one should be yours. One man cannot be sold to strangers. I, for one, I refuse to be led by an outsider. Not as long as I live. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very, very much. Mm. I am glad to know that someone stands behind me. For what I intend doing, I cannot do alone. You can count on me. You can count on me. That is good. Very good. When the time comes, I will let you know. I will <laughs> There's confusion in the land. In the land. The young ones are disappearing. They're Papa, kidnapped and sold into slavery. Yes, yes, my daughter, sit down. I want you to get your things together. Come tomorrow morning. I want you to go and visit your mother's sister, Mbafo. But why, Papa? I mean, this is so sudden. Will you shut up? Must I give reason for everything I ask you to do? I am asking my daughter to go somewhere else until this kidnap issue is over. And she questions me. I'm sorry, Papa. That's all right. Now, you go and get your things together. Tomorrow, you leave by the first flight. Okay, Papa. <laughs> 
Forget about that now. It must be tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, yes. The cargo that I am bringing to you is very, very precious. And as soon as the cargo is delivered, you must make sure that you cross over to the other village. Why the warning? Any problem? I said that this cargo is very precious. And I'm very sure you're going to make lots of money from it. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, can you fix my hair well? Okay, just sing that song for me again one more time. Make sure my voice is going to come out right. Just sing if anyhow. Okay. Then the other person will now put but that's a bit well, G. Then you now continue with. I got me yet to give me buwani, bukwa onyem nyalo G, bukwa onyem nyalado, bukwa onyem nyalano. Salam. That's the part I like. Salam. That's the. Salam is the chorus now. <coughs> Did I just hear a whistle? My princess, please, may I be excused? Very well then, but please come back early, because the hour grows late. Thank you, my princess. My princess is very kind. Thank you. Found. What are you talking about? 
Help the princess is not there. What happened to her? Someone or something has taken away my daughter. God. Your Highness. <laughs> is the princess ill or something? Your Highness. <laughs> she's nowhere to be found. You must be out of your mind. What do you mean she's nowhere to be found? Lega here came to bring Princess her water, only to find out that she wasn't there. Now you are going to fetch all the young men in the land, and you will go and search every nook and cranny for my daughter, and you will not come back until you find her. Now go! Well, same way, Dicker. Isn't a book in a go block or the Amosa de Bog the block dog than you call you? Of Apula Flar and Ara and Baba Gig the Baba in any city. Mapa will pull up a little to Alu. O Balor and I go below, say. A Calabui Wobala. Kesma Cagalion Alumme. I tell you who? Ha! I do have run the way, my name. And uh, what do the gods say about the disappearance of my daughter? Where is she? And who has taken her? The gods are silent. What? My daughter! The princess of Omu who, by all account, has been kidnapped! I'm forcibly taken away, and all you can sit there and tell me is that the gods are silent. Is she even alive? Do you know? Well, the gods are silent on that. Though in great pain and anguish, I feel her spirit strong. Yes, your highness. She is alive. You cannot fight fate. It has no reprieve. The princess must fulfill her destiny on earth. So must we all. If you continue like this, you will make yourself ill. How can I console myself? Why my happiness has been taken away? Where is my daughter? She's nowhere to be found. Look, look, look. The men and the youths, they've all gone out. 
to search for the whereabouts of our daughter. Now let's wait. Let's wait and see if they will not bring us a better news. If they don't, what happens? Will I die a childless princess? Oh God! Because of our Lord, what have I done to deserve this punishment? Oh. 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 I know you'll be wondering what has brought me at this time of the day. I was on my way from an errand when I saw a brother Ikoku. He was hurrying to somewhere. So he said I should bring you this message. And what message is it? Uh, he said he should come and see him. But he has news of your daughter, our princess. My brother Ikoku told you this? Well, you know Ikoku as well as I do. He knows those that know those that kidnap people. You should know what I mean. Well, Igwe, I've delivered my message, so I should be going. Nay, I heard you. What are you going to do? I think I will go and see my brother and find out what he's up to this time. I've always thought that he was involved or behind the disappearance of our daughter. I'll go with you, Nick. No, you will do no such thing. You will stay here. Things might get violent. I want you safe. I want you here. I want you to go with one of the girls. My dear, all the guys have gone out on the search for our daughter. There's only one left to guard the palace and you. You, you stay here. No, I have a bad feeling about this. You, you know your brother Ikoko. He's a very wicked man, and he has nothing good about you. Are you sure you are not going on a wild goose chase? Now I remember is the most warning. No. My dear, I will be careful. Ikoku is my blood brother. He will not have me. Blood is thicker than water, they say. Don't worry. Go and prepare me some dinner. When I come back, I hope to bring you some cherry news about our daughter. Okay, now. Mm. Ikoku <laughs> You are evil, you are wicked. There's confusion in the land, there's commotion. In the land, the young ones are disappearing. They're kidnapped Ikoku. and sold into slavery. Ikoku! Ah. Ojuku! Ah. Ojuku! You came for a visit. What have you done to my daughter? said again that I have anything to do with the disappearance of the princess. Don't play games with me, Ikoku. I am aware of the kind of friends you keep. And I know your involvement in shady deals. Now, where is my daughter? Ojuku, you hurt me. You hurt me, my brother. Even if all these things that you have said against me is true. How do you expect me to hurt my own blood? How? Look, you and I can have our own devices. But I have no problems with the princess. Do it. 
said you have some news about her. What is the news? Ojuku, have we become such enemies that you will come to my compound, to my house, and you won't even sit down? Eh? We chased you in! Come, come, come. Let's talk this over a cup of wine. It will do you good. Look, you know, it will do you good. Look, Ikoku. I have not come here to share a cup of wine with you. I am not in a good mood. Now, what is it you want to tell me? Ah, you come in first. Come to think of it. It has been a very, very long time that we sat together as brothers socially. And whose fault is that? <laughs> Don't cast any stone. Because it will just destroy my good mood. I, I had a talk uh, with my contacts in the slave trade. And? Ojuku, come inside. J just come in. Ah. Ojuku, come now. Let's... Look at you there. Look at you. Igwe! Igwe, my foot! You stole the throne that my father promised me! Help me! You will die there! The fly that does not listen goes down with the cops! That is what you have done! You will never listen! Never! <laughs>
Yes, I love you. Wait! You can rest here for a while. Sick one. How is she? I don't think she will continue with this trip. <sighs> She's getting worse. That girl has been trouble ever since she joined us. <sighs> what do you expect from a princess? What? You mean she's of the royal blood? Yeah, she is. I ran into one of the palace guards. He told me that she is the daughter of Igwe. No wonder. I had this bad feelings ever since the last transaction we had with Amazi Koko. So what do we do now? Hmm. I, I think I support what you said earlier. We'll rest here for a while. Then we'll continue. And as we're living, we abandon her here. It would be better for her to die here in the wilderness. And I dare to blame on nature than die in her hands. What a pity. She would have made us a lot of money. You lose sometimes, at times you gain. See the form is too unique to be an animal. Looks like a human body. Yes, a human body. Besides, animals don't wear clothes, and that's a blue cloth, isn't it? That's not true. Could you know one comes this far into the forest? I think it's an animal. Alright. An antelope, I presume. Let's go and find out then. Hmm? Are you sure that's a good idea, my prince? 
whatever. That's fine. Be careful, my friends. Be careful. She's human. Ooh. She looks like a slave girl. See all those bone rope, that those rope bones on her, on her hands and neck. Yes, she's unconscious. Yes. And she's burning up with fever. So what do we do? We have to help her. Help her? She's not one of us, and I do not even recognize her. So what? We have to help her. We can't just leave her here like this. I was afraid we were going to say that. So, what do you intend to do? I, I'm sure you're not intending to take her to the palace. Mm -mm. No. My father won't do like that. Um, yes. We'll take her to the old medicine woman. She'll take care of her. It's time she starts paying us back for all those meals that we give her. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drop it. Help me carry out. My prince, who is she and where did you find her? Mama, we do not know who she is. But we found her at the uh, boundary between Umudike and uh, Umwe. Uh, do you think she'll be all right? She'll be all right. But she's having very high fever. And um, maybe she has been in Chen recently. Yes, we noticed that. Do you think she's a slave girl? Yes, but badly maltreated. She couldn't have survived any other day in the forest. Well, Mama, I, I really have to be going right now. I know my father will be waiting for me at the palace. And I know you will take good care of her. If there's any special thing you need for her treatment, please let me know. Have you come to visit our patient? Yes, Mama. How is she today? She's sleeping at the moment. Um, the fever comes and goes, but that should be expected. I thank the gods that she is responding to the healing roots and herbs. I thank the gods also, Mama, and I thank you very much for taking care of her. I'll get you something special tomorrow when I come. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, 
Enjoy that sorrowful moment. I greet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have called this meeting today so that we can discuss what next our line of action will be. It is two weeks now since the disappearance of my dear brother, Igwe Ojuku, and his daughter, our princess. Painful as it is though, you will all agree with me that what has happened has happened and we must go on. Mazi uh, Kuku, are you trying to tell us to forget the search of our Igwe and his daughter? And to do what? Yes. How do we go on when we don't have an Igwe? Please, don't get me wrong. I say don't get me wrong. I am not suggesting that we should discontinue with the search. No, 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 no. The search must continue, but not to the detriment of this community at all. How do you mean? What I mean is that we people of Umwome have lowered our guards, and it is not good. Whoever has plotted this against us will conquer us now because we are vulnerable. I, I suggest that we turn the rulership of this village to someone else. Someone who is capable of making sure of our security until at least our Igwe returns to his throne again. Are you now suggesting we crown another person Igwe? Yes. I say yes. I am the next in line for the throne anyway. I suggest that I be crowned to take my brother's seat, at least until he returns. In that case, the security of this village will be guaranteed, and the throne will be secured, even though we are still searching for my brother. Well, if you ask me, that is a very good idea. No matter what has happened, Umu Mesti needs a leader who will take things in hand. Yes. There's confusion <coughs> in the land. Our people say that which is greater than the earth has entered its hole. <laughs> if I can tell, I could not tell. No, no. <laughs> um, I have come to find out what you are doing about Ikuku's suggestion that we crown him the next Igwe. Will you back him? May the gods forbid. May it be far from me, that which may make me be a part of this obnoxious betrayal. <laughs> How can a man, for me two weeks of his brother's disappearance, begin to talk of replacing him? <laughs> but there has been no love, no love lost. Do you think so? Yes, between the two brothers. Um. I think Iku who knows about these uh, disappearances that he has not told us. I will not be surprised if 
we never find the Igwe as we never found his daughter. <laughs> I hear that he is going to go ahead with the alliance with Umudike people. A minute. Well, and that was why he fought his brother relentlessly for agreeing to that proposal. Well, may the God save us from the greedy devil incarnate. Well, the whole village may support him. Do you mean it? But, for all I care, mm -hmm. I and my family will never support it. Mm -hmm. I wash my hands the Igwe's brother is going to be crowned as an next Igwe. What? That wicked man. How can they crown him the Igwe of this land when he seems not to be liked by anyone in this village? Mm -hmm. He came up with the idea all by himself. I think he knows what happened to his brother. And I believe all the disappearances in this village, his, his eyes are into it. We're in trouble. Though. I hope the elders know what they are getting into. Huh. May the gods of our land deliver us from the heads of this man. If not, we'll be worse than slaves to fear. Make it. Hey. I say we are finished. Let's get to the farm, my sister. Hmm? It will never happen. To go to the palace where my crown will be put on my head. There's confusion in the land. Greetings, thou son of Ubaja the Great. Ikuku Ajo here. Evil wind from the evil forest. What have you come to do in my place? The son of Ubaja knows what brought me here. The gods are no longer with you. Neither are your ancestors. Well, the gods have never been with me ever since my father promised me the throne, but died before fulfilling it. The anger of the gods roamed the palace, with the blood of the late Igwe crying in distress. Do you have a hand in his disappearance? You have the nerves to come here and ask such a question. My coronation as Igwe comes up tomorrow. Don't you want to live to see that day? <laughs> My death is left for the gods to decide. <laughs> I decide your death now and appoint ten new chief priests after tomorrow. If you and your gods don't mind their business. <laughs> I am the mouthpiece of the gods. I only bring you the warning of the gods to stay away from the throne or you will be visited with evil. I am my own kind of evil, and I fear no evil in this land. Where were the gods when I was robbed of my father's promise? Ojuku lived after the fatal accident that almost killed him. I made him live. I almost gave up my life for him. And that was why my father promised me the throne. 
until the elders came in their own folly and turned it round for Ojuku. Yes, because the gods said so for the interest of the land. I will take what is mine and will wait on no god before I do it. I am my own god and I will not wait on any other god. Go say that to your gods. So you are still crying. I have warned you about shedding these crocodile tears that will lead you nowhere. What I think you should concern yourself about is how you become my lolo and not shedding tears over a weak husband that is never coming back. So you have killed your brother. And you want to take everything that belongs to him. I will kill myself. I will die before I allow you lay your blood soaked hands on me. Uh, 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 woman, watch what you wish yourself, lest it comes to pass. I don't want what happened to your husband to happen to you. You must realize that according to tradition, when a man dies, his brother inherits everything that belongs to him, including wife and children. Never. Never. So you should get yourself prepared and realizing that you are going to be my lola. Never. The gods of our land are not asleep. They see all uh, and know all. The time of your punishment is coming and your corpse is going to be a meal to the vultures. You will die as you keep your brother. You talk to me like that. You will soon realize who is king in Umu Omen. Made, but a maid to the gods. <laughs> this is the beginning and a warning to you mates. And this also goes for you gods. <laughs> you all are under my command and must address me as your highness. <laughs> if a second is wasted in answering to my call, or tending to my orders. You all will get this. You understand me? Yes, sir. Good. You all learn fast. No one looks upon my face. At all time, you must bow down 
before me at the slightest <laughs> sight. <laughs> Failure to do so, I will have your heads one by one. <laughs> now, bow down before me, all of you. Monkeys, slaves, nonsense. <laughs> What I have. meant for the lola of the palace what do you want Adesi? you are occupying my seat woman as the lola or what <laughs> since your husband is no longer the evil good readings you are no longer the lord and since my father is yet to remarry I I'm in charge as the princess. Beware, little girl. For the ground will dig my turn to be your grave. How dare you look upon my death? God! From this minute, this woman holds no place in this palace. Except as one of my father's concubines. How dare you, Adesi? Escort her to the servants' quarters. Where she will be called upon any time my father needs her. And my daughter will be my witness. The land of Umome will never forgive you. Take her out of my sight! I command you, take her out of my sight now! Greeting from our kindred. We wish you well. Thank you. But we are worried over a little issue that brings us together. You speak of Ola, the woman that I married from your kindred. Yes, Your Highness. And the children, too. During your coronation, she was supposed to stand by your side as your Lola, but she was not there. Even her children, they were not present. We expected our sister to inform us of her new status at Lola, but she was nowhere. So you mean they are not with you? Your Highness, if they are with, with us, we wouldn't have come to you. Well, the, that woman and her children stole my things in the night and ran away while I was away. That she did what? Yes. My gold, jewelry, money. Her children are criminals. Yes, I would have taken your head. If not for the fact that I am generous, I therefore decided that I will wait for a kinsman so that they can go and bring her for me. This is strange. I know all of my sister and her children. 
She will never do such a thing. So, you call me a liar? No, Your Highness. No, Your Highness. She and her children did what they did because of, of, of the support of her kinsmen. Now, I give you four days. Four days to bring her back to me. Or else, I wage war against your village. Your Highness, this is... Guards! Your Highness. Your Highness. These thieves must get out of this village immediately. They have outlived their usefulness. Yes, Your Highness. Get them out! Quickly! Father, you sent for me. Yes, sit down. What is it, Father? An ill fate has befallen our would be in us. What happened? Igo Juku of Umo Meland was declared missing a fortnight ago. The people of Umome began a search, during which we sent our warriors to comb the forest with hope of discovering him or his corpse. But all yielded nothing. It's quite mysterious and unfortunate that that should happen. Could this be the handwork of their enemies? Umome is a land blessed with riches, but with weak inhabitants, therefore prey to invasion. However, we have decided to pay them our respect and give protection to the Igwe's brother, who is now crowned the new Igwe. Well, it's unfortunate that um, such a thing should happen to his family. I pray that the gods will guide the former Igwe wherever he is. Well, son, get prepared. We will leave the next Nkwo Market day. While we are there, we may as well have talks on the marriage arrangements, at least to speed up things. Thank you, my son. What will I ever do without the two of you? Ah, it's no problem, Mama. We enjoy doing it for you always. I see. Thank you. So, um, Mama, how is our patient today? She's okay. She's all right. But gets weak occasionally. Mm, that is to be expected. Well, Mama, we really have to be going now. I know my father will be expecting me. I know that he can have some work to do at home. That's true, Mama. But wait, when will you people come and enjoy the meat you bring me with me? Mama, we shall come as soon as possible. Maybe tomorrow. Yes, definitely tomorrow because we enjoy the way you prepare the meat. Okay. We'll come tomorrow. It's all right. All right. Bye-bye, right. Mama. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. They are the people that rescued you and brought you to me for care. If they did not see you at the time they did, I wonder what could have happened. A handsome young man, isn't he? Yes, he is, Mama. What is unfortunate that Prince Ugoji has to marry a princess from Umone to save his people from famine. But, Mama, I, I heard that the princess of Umome was kidnapped by some strangers and has never been found. Where did you get such a news? Is the Igwe Ojuku of Umome that disappeared? Not the princess. What? Since I was born, I've never heard of an Igwe disappearing. Anyway, our Igwe 
and Prince Ugaj will go and pay the homage because the younger brother was installed since he could not be found. Asinu Igwe. What is this? What is this? You are not listening to what I'm telling you. You don't understand what I'm telling you. sweet voice. So tell me, what could make a beautiful songbird like you as sad as to create such a heart-rending tune? I'm, I'm sorry my prince. I thought I was alone. I didn't know someone else was listening. I realize that. But you don't have to apologize. I enjoyed your song. Sad though it was. So tell me, what is your name? Oh, um, Ma. My name is Ma, my prince. Ma. A beautiful name for a songbird. So, Ma, why are you sad? Tell me, who knows? Maybe I might be able to wipe away your sadness. Is it your family? Do you miss them? Mama, trust me, okay? Tell me, where are you from? Who are your people? I, 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 I can find them for you. I'm sorry for whatever that scared you. I'm not supposed to allow you to go to the forest to fetch firewood. Now that you are still very weak. The little we have will serve us tonight. Tomorrow I'll send somebody to go and collect the ones you fetch. Eh? Don't worry. Let's go in. You need to rest. Thank you. You go in and rest. Eh? Thank you. 
back from my traps in the forest today, I heard a girl singing a very sad, mournful song with such a beautiful and melodious voice that my heart went out to her. And when I went to investigate, guess who I found there? Um, one of those beautiful maidens mourning your loss as a husband. Oh, come on, Ike, now be serious for once. Then who did you see? I saw Ma. Our own Ma. And just as beautiful as I am. Ma. Who is Ma? The girl we found in the forest now. The slave girl. Uh oh. And as she was singing, she was crying. <laughs> My heart broke. I, I felt like shouting at the gods, demanding to know why, why they would visit her with such unhappiness. I felt, I felt like, like wiping away her tears forever. But I couldn't. I can't. I felt so helpless. I still feel so helpless. Oh, ye gods. Ugoji, need I remind you that you have no business feeling that way for, for, for a mere slave girl? Slave girl or not, she is human. And no human being should be allowed to carry around such, such wealth of unhappiness. It's, it's unfair. Agreed. She is human. Yes, agreed. And I wouldn't have even raised an eyebrow if you, it were mere sympathy you have just expressed. I think it's more than that. And it is very dangerous. Dangerous? Why? Because I feel attraction for, for, for a beautiful maiden? Aha! Aha! Now it has a name. Attraction. Ugoji, attraction would be perfect. It would be wonderful. If it was felt for Princess Ugoma, and not for that mere cheap slave girl whose life you barely saved. Remember your duty to your community. That's if I need to be reminded. Ugoji. Ugoji. Ugoji, my, my prince. Aren't we going for night hunting anymore? Again, okay, uh, as you can see, I am not in the mood. I'll see you tomorrow. Where is this woman? Obidia! Obidia! Come out here! The Igwe of Omodike has sent a message to me that she is coming to pay us a visit to express condolence and to make arrangements for the marriage between the prince and our princess. And are you going to explain to them that there will be no marriage now that you had my daughter kidnapped? I really like to see how you go about it. You will keep that mouth of yours shut before I shut it. There will be no explanations made. The marriage will take place. What? As I was saying, there will be no explanations made. And the marriage between the prince and Adeze here will take place. And Adeze, for your information, will from now on be known as Goma. Oh, Papa. So I shall marry a prince. Papa, that will be wonderful. I shall be the envy of all my friends. Yes. Yes, my daughter. 
Have I not always called you a daisy? Yes, Papa. And you were destined to be wife to a prince? <laughs> Never! Never will I allow this! Ikoku, may the devil take away your soul. You have taken everything! And now you, you want to take your niece back, right? Tell me, what has your brother done to incur such hatred from you? You will keep that mouth shut or I will really shut it up for you. I have had enough of your insubordination. Never. I will never shut my mouth. I am going to reveal you for the murderer you are. You can suppress the people of Umudike, but you can never suppress me. Gods, your highness. your highness, take this mad woman away and lock her up. The disappearance of her husband has turned her mad. Will you stop there? Don't allow anybody get near to her. Have I made myself clear? And you, Nick. Yes, Your Highness. I elevate you to chief maid servant to the princess, who from now is Goma to you. Yes, Your Highness. Good. But Papa, what of the villagers? Won't they talk? <laughs> the villagers. Leave that to me. I will handle them in my own way. <laughs> now you may go. Thank you, Papa. Yes. Now come over here. <laughs> To begin the proceeding on the marriage between our prince here and the princess Ugoma. If you may approve it, let us get underway. <laughs> that is very good. Your trip is a good one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, was the girl informed of our coming? Oh, yes. Her father took care of that. But I will send for her. Please do. <laughs> Call Ugoma quickly. You are welcome once Thank again. you, my dear. You are welcome. Thank you very much. I yeah. can see that your journey went smoothly. It was really. We are yes. happy. Thank you. Igwe. Hmm. Ugonaya. Okay. None. Thank you. These people from Umudike came here because of you. The prince has asked for your hand in marriage. They have bought palm wine on behalf of you. I want to ask, should I drink this palm wine? Or do I reject it? You accept the prince's proposal? Yes, Papa. I accept. <laughs> <laughs> you go! <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome. You Thank are you very much. That's oh, it. Yeah. 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 And the worst part of it is that she's avoiding me. Hmm? I don't know what to do. She is avoiding you? Why? I don't know. I guess she 
she has found out about my engagement to the princess and she's avoiding me because of that. Yes, that is as it should be. And you ought to understand that. What I understand is that she's in love with me and she doesn't want to get hurt. And she definitely would be hurt if you insist on continuing on that path. For, for people's sake, my prince, use your head. Okay, now, <laughs> it's no use. I'm in love with that girl and... <sighs> Talk of the devil. Mama, I hope everything is all right. Is Mama hurt? Mama is fine. I, I came to speak with you. By all means, please go ahead. Alone, please. Come on, please. Okay. Uh, so, what is it you want to talk about? Mama told me about your plans to locate my family. Yes, yes. You see, I want to do something for you. I want to reunite you with your family. I want them to know that you are all right. I don't. My, I mean, what, what are you... Don't. I don't need my family to be found. Why? Because I am happy here. I, I don't want them to be found. Mama is all the family I need. So please do me the favor. Don't look for anybody. Why are you rejecting my offer? I just want to help you. Because I do not want to be indebted to you. Okay, and um, Ma, Ma, can we just talk about this? Ma! Good. Mm -hmm. uh, did she tell you to come and visit her this night? <laughs> okay, no. I'm not in the mood for your jokes. Okay? exactly what I want to talk to you about. And I don't think you'd like us to talk about it here. Or rather, shall we be excused? Shall we please excuse us? Ma, I feel I must warn you before this thing with the prince blows out of proportion. I don't understand. What thing with the prince are you talking about? Oh, stop pretending, man. Stop pretending. The prince imagines himself to be in love with you. And I think you know about that. Ma, I must warn you not to take undue advantage of his soft feelings towards you. Because it will definitely come to naught. This stupid thing must be stopped immediately. Because, read my lips. It can never work. Can never or will not work. Tell me, Ikena, why do you think it will not work? Is it because I'm a slave and not a princess? Or is it because I don't have anything to offer to the prince? See it whichever way you want. If you must know, the prince is already engaged to the princess of Umume, who is actually coming on a prenuptial visit to our community tomorrow. This marriage means so much to me and the entire community. So I will not stand and watch whosoever tries to ruin it. Not even you. So bear that in mind.
Are you all right? Yes, my mom. All right. I was just thinking. Thinking what? Are you not going to the river? The river? Yes. Mama, what is happening at the river? Oh, you've forgotten. The princess is coming. All the villagers went to the river to receive her. I'm going. Oh. So? Mama, I'm not feeling too well. I don't think I can make it. You've been I... sounding funny since these days. I know you will. But what is it? Is it fever, headache or what? No, Mama. It's just a headache. If I sleep and wake up, I'll be fine. You sure? Yes, Mama. Okay. Let me join them. I'll come back quickly to know how you are faring. Don't worry, Mama. I'll be alright. I'm going to. My good friend Igwe Ikoku is doing very well. Of course, Igwe. He is well. And like I said earlier, he sent his greetings. Thank you very much. If you may excuse me, Father, I believe the princess should be very tired by now and should need her sleep. No problem. Lead her to her quarters. But don't forget, tomorrow will be her sightseeing. So you take her around, okay? All right, Father. Princess, once again, you are welcome to Mudike Kingdom. Thank you. You are welcome, my <laughs> Good night to you. What do you want? Mama is not home. I know. I didn't come to see Mama. I came to see you. <sighs> wait, Ma, Ma, please. Wait. Don't walk away from me like this. Each time you do that, my something dies inside of me. What do you want from me? 
I'm only a slave girl. You're only wasting your time with me. Don't tell me that I'm wasting my time with you. Because each time I see you is treasured. Even when you scorn me, my heart still yearns for the sight of you. I wish you could look inside my heart and see the wealth of feeling that lies there for you, woman. What you ask of me, I cannot give you. So many things have already gone wrong. You are engaged to be married to the princess of Umome. And you cannot go back on your word. Even as honor demands that I marry the princess, the power of love still pulls me towards you. Look, I can't stay without you. Don't you understand it? And what are we going to do about it? Other than for you to ask me to be your concubine, which I will never be. Then marry me. Be my second wife. Surely the love we share is powerful enough for that. I promise you, you will not regret it. Ugochi, that I should be your second wife. If truly you had any respect for me, you will not ask that of me. Now leave. I do not want to see you ever again. Your place is with your wife and not with me. She should be the one you should be with, not me. Like I said, I do not want to see you ever again. Goodbye. To my beats. I. I. It's. I was trying to. I, nonsense. Oh. <clears throat> um, who is making all this noise in this hot weather? My princess, what is it? Oh, my prince. Don't worry, I have everything under control. Mm. You may go now. But don't think you've gotten off so easy. You'll get your punishment later. My princess, I should think that the slap was enough punishment for our crime, or was it was there something else to do? I believe servants ought to be kept where they belong. She knew better than to break my beads. Um, my prince, mm. I thought you would have come to see me earlier on. I've been waiting for you all day. Where have you been? I went hunting with my friend again. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. There's no need to apologize. Now you're here. I forgive you. You forgive me? Yes. Well, that's very gracious of you, my princess. Gracious? Yes, it is, isn't it? Grace is one of the qualities one must possess as a princess bride. And it would be Lola. Lolo. Yes. I don't understand. Oh, it's simple. One day, my prince will become the eagle. Then, that makes me the Lolo. <laughs> Lolo. Anyway, my prince, tell me more about Umodike. It is said that this land is greatly revered by friends and fools. Is it true? Yes, it is. And I must commend you for choosing a husband from such a great village. It's quite an accomplishment, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> the law, <Lord. laughs> Neka! Neka! You may go now. My princess. But you can't... Will you shut up, you mess, slave? 
Don't you ever talk to me like that again. I do not need a chaperon. Now get out. Out! My princess, it's you. <laughs> of course it's me. Who were you expecting to see? I thought I heard voices. Oh. It was my maid, Neka. I sent her back. But my princess, you should know better than to come and see me alone, unchaperoned. It will ruin your reputation. What is there to ruin? We're getting married, are we not? Yes, that notwithstanding, I still insist that whenever you want to see me, please come with someone. Okay? What is this? I thought you would be happy to see me. Instead, you question me. If I cannot spend time with you, I might as well go home. <laughs> it's not like that, my princess. It's, it's just that I don't want our reputation to be ruined. Besides, <laughs> tradition demands that we don't spend time together until our wedding night. Who will know? The walls have ears and eyes. Haven't you heard? Look, I am an honorable man and as such I am bound to the morals of tradition. Okay, I'll go. But promise me you, you spend some time with me tonight. You rarely come to spend some time with me. I, I promise I will spend some time with you, but not tonight. I have night hunting to do with my friend Dikenda. But I, I'll come and see you in the morning and we can spend the whole day together. Shop around, of course. Of course. Um, promise. Good night. Ikenna. 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 Yes, who is it? Oh, Ugoji. Welcome. Welcome, my prince. What brings you to my humble abode this night? When you should be with your bride to be? Getting to know each other, or should I say, cutting your bride to be? <laughs> this thing is not working. I mean, it's not working. It's just not working. What is not working? This, this imposition of a marriage between I and the princess. I don't like her. She's spoiled. She's too brash for my liking. She, she's not my type. She is your type. She is a princess, isn't she? Besides, you've not even spent enough time with the poor girl to... I have spent as much time as is good for my health with her. Imagine it was all I could do to extricate myself from my paws, from my trap, yesterday. <laughs> my prince, so you mean the princess decided to take matters into her own hands? That serves you right, my prince. That serves you right. <laughs> okay, now, this is not funny. It's not a joke. Okay, come, come, my prince. Are you trying to tell me that uh, you could not handle any problems the princess may present? Besides, I've known you to have handled a lot of maidens in the past. So, so what's... That is the point. I have no feeling for her. Don't you understand? When I'm with her, all I think about is... Ma, I want to be with him, not her. I can't go through with this. Wait a minute. Are you... Are you... Tr what are you trying to say? Are you trying to tell me you're thinking of calling everything off? It is Ma that I love. It's Ma that I want to marry. Not some princess that I don't even know. So what happens to your people? Or did you not stop to consider when you were making this egocentric and self-centered decision of yours? I'm sorry, my prince, if I spoke out of tones. But it's, it's not just your happiness that's at stake here, but the lives of our people. Did you stop to consider what will happen to us if you ruined this thing between you and the princess? You love Uma. Yes, but you cannot marry her. 
you have to marry the princess so as to save your people from dying of starvation. I know how you feel. But you are the prince of Mudike. The next heir to the throne. The next Igwe to be. The people are looking up to you. And you can't afford to fail them now. You just can't. This indeed is the prize of royalty. No, I know, but there has to be a way out of this. There has to be another way out of this predicament. I... Because we love. A love doomed to no end. But surely this love of ours can can bring bliss and happiness later on. If only you will tell me you love me, that you will be mine. I may love you, my prince, but I do not have the right to you. You are to marry another now, and I'm doomed to know only the pain of love and not the joy it brings. Let me be my prince. Let me be at peace with where destiny has chosen to abandon me. Don't say that, please. Now listen. Look, if you must know, I am going to break off this engagement with the princess. As soon as I get back home, I'm going to tell my father that I'm breaking off that engagement. No, my prince, you can't do that. Please, promise me you will marry the princess. Please. Why are you pushing me towards a loveless marriage? Where you know that I won't be happy? You of all people, why? It's not that, my prince. Then what is it? My prince, please. Think of what it will do to the people. Then think of what will happen to me if your father and the people of the land find out that I'm the reason behind your decision. Our love can overcome all those things. Our love can do that. I'm sorry, my prince. It is not enough. So much has happened and so much is at stake. And I'm afraid of what is going to happen. Why do I get the feeling that your reluctance, everything has to do with your own shadows more than what we have to confess? I don't know what you're talking about, my prince. Isn't it time that you, you tell me what those shadows are? Isn't it time you start trusting me? I have to go, my prince. So how 
how is my mother? How is she? I'm sorry, my princess. Your uncle had her committed as a mad woman. What? My mother? Why? Shortly after your disappearance, your father, the Igwe, disappeared too. Most of the villagers suspected your uncle had a hand in it. But everybody was too afraid to speak up, except your mother. On the day before the prince and his people were to arrive, your uncle called us and told us that he was going to pass a daisy off as you. He threatened us that we should keep our mouths shut. Not being able to take it any longer, your mother started accusing him of having killed the Igwe. She threatened to tell the prince and his people everything when they called. So your uncle declared her mad and had her locked up just to get out of the way. He was the one that kidnapped me and sold me to slave traders who left me in the forest to die. The prince and his friend were the ones that came to help me. They brought me to Mama's hut and ever since that day, Mama has been taking care of me. My princess, we have to do something. Something has to be done immediately. Nothing can be done. There is no one to turn to. Nobody will believe our story. But there must be something we can do. Surely the prince can help us. The prince is bound by honor to his words and his people. He cannot help us. For he loves you. Neka, how do you know that? I'm sorry, my princess. I saw the two of you in the bush earlier today, and I followed you from there just to find out where you were staying. But I had to rush back to the palace, and then I decided to sneak out this night and see you. The prince may love me, but he's already engaged to be married to Adese. And there's nothing anybody can do about that. He wouldn't even believe me if I tell him that I am the real Uguma, the princess is supposed to be getting married to. No, Neka. I like things the way they are. Are you sure, my princess? Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. But you must promise me one thing. Do not reveal my identity to anybody. Not even the prince. And as for my uncle, Iko, he will get what he deserves. I know the gods are not asleep. Neither is the hand of fate too short as to reach him. He must pay. the unhappy countenance. It greets the prince. Please sit down. Please sit down. What about the prince? Have both of you had any disagreement? No, it's not that, Igwe. And what is it? Why the tears? Igwe, the prince does not give me attention. Ever since I came here, he hardly visits me, not to talk of speaking to me. As far as he's concerned, I don't exist. He ignores me so much that I feel so unhappy since I've grown to love him. 
think we, if I had known, I wouldn't have accepted his hand in marriage. Since he wouldn't want me. He dislikes me, Igwe. Come on, my daughter. <laughs> the prince does not dislike you. Though he may have decided not to trust himself around you, hence he decided to keep that distance. Do you really think so, Igwe? I really think so. I think so, my daughter. Don't worry, my daughter. Wipe off your dead, eh? Okay, everything is all right, eh? You're going to talk to me. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Igwe. Thank you. I'll talk to him. Thank you. The princess brought a complaint to me. She says you've been ignoring her and feels you dislike her. Father, I don't like the princess. She's selfish. She's callous. You should see the way she treats her servants. I, I dislike such people. Shut your mouth, Ugoji. That is no way to speak of your bride-to-be. Now, I called you here to remind you of what is at stake. We've taken this step, and I am not going back on my words. Better be civil to the princess. Cut her the way you're supposed to do, right from now. You are disliking her notwithstanding. Have I made myself clear? You must forgive me, father, but I cannot bring myself to like her. Doesn't my happiness matter? Your happiness matters, yes. But that takes second place to the needs of your people. Besides, I will not disgrace this truth by opting out of the alliance with Umome people. That will bring enmity, and that I will not condone. Ugoji, you are going to wed the princess. I am commanding you not as your father this time, but as your Igwe. Mend your fences with the princess, or you will bear my rod. Have you come to ask for my forgiveness? I thought not. It wouldn't suit you to grovel, you know. Anyway, I'll make do with your company on a stroll. Neka, you may go now. You may have played your antics and had your wish, my princess. But I will not jump at your back. Nega, you come with us. <laughs> Quite gracious in the fit. Are we not, my prince? By all means, my dear husband, your wish is my command. You may leave your My friends, you puzzle me at times. What? You see me reluctance and disinterest in this marriage thing is what puzzles me. And try as I might, I cannot fathom any reason behind it. What do you mean? What I mean is, 
considering the fact that you asked for my hand in marriage. Correction. I did not ask for your hand in marriage. My father did. I never had any intention of doing that. Whatever. But considering what I bring to you in this union, you should be content. I mean, I am the only child of my father. And I bring more wealth and fertile lands just to make my man happy. So why this lack of interest? I should have known that a sport girl like you would only think of marriage in terms of material things. Is there any other way? Yes, there is. There is this thing called love. And love is the most essential part of any marriage. And ours, I must say, will be seriously lacking in it. Love, of course, my dear prince, comes with the marriage bed. And I am very sure that I can make you love me after we are married. I mean, I am a beautiful girl, as you can see. And I know my dear husband is not cold-blooded, are you? As the gods are my witness, I can never love you. As for your beauty, it pales before your callous soul. I don't even know why I'm fighting this lost cause. Uguma, I detest you. I can never love you because I love another. One who is more gracious than you can ever be. Ugadi, come back right now! Don't you ever walk out on me, Ugadi! Ugadi! My prince, I am sorry! Will you get off my way? How dare he? How dare the prince humiliate me so? And in front of that good for nothing servant in Neka. I, Adeze, daughter of the great Ikofu, I will show him. I am going to deal with him and whomever it is he has chosen to humiliate me with. Nobody messes with the daughter of the tiger and goes scot free. I know what to do. First of all, I must find out who this maiden is. Who has stolen that which belongs to me. Yes, that is what I will do. Hello, my friend. Hello, my princess. How are you today? I'm fine. Sorry, that was not the desired effect, my love. Don't call me that. Why? Ma, we love each other. And no matter how hard you try to deny it, it's a fact. 
and I don't want to be denied too. My prince, you have to go now. I don't want anyone to see us together, please. Okay, I'll leave if you say you love me. My prince, please. Come on, just say it. I just wanted to hear you say it. Please, I, I, I need to say it. Okay, then I won't go unless you say it. Okay. I love you. <laughs> Can you go now, please? Well, you see, the sight of you gladdens my heart and I can't just go after a moment with you. So let me take you to the street. No, my prince, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll go alone. Okay, okay. You win this time, but next time you won't. So goodbye, my princess. Yes, my princess. That is what you are to me. You are the most beautiful woman in the world. Goodbye, my prince. Bye. Possible. She cannot be alive. I mean, after all this time that has passed that she was taken for dead, she cannot have reappeared from the dead. Wait a minute. If Ugoma is still alive, then, then it means, it means to lose everything. The prince. Even my status as a princess. Never. I cannot allow her to take everything that belongs to me. I must do something fast. Yes. And you, what are you still doing there? Get me water to drink, fast! Why are you running as if the devil himself is after you? My princess, she knows. She has found out. She, she, who has found out what? What are you talking about? It's a daisy, my princess. I think she has found out about you. She has found out what? How? Eh? Well, I don't know. The prince has been treating her badly. And the other day he admitted to her that he loves another. Are you sure what you're talking about? There's no way she could have seen me because I made sure I stayed away from the heart of the village. Well, I don't know. How? She knows. I believe she has sworn to get back at whomever the prince has affections for. Who? My princess, I'm scared for you. You know this is callous, just like her father. It's not beyond her to try to harm you. Neka, don't worry. I don't think she knows it's me yet. I don't I don't I don't think it's me she saw. Eh? I, I think she's still grasping her straw and her victim doesn't have a face yet. Just do me this favor. Keep your ears very close to the ground and try to restrict your coming here. Did you hear me? Okay. If I know Adesa too well, she will start suspecting anything and everything around her now that her hackles are up. Did you hear me? Hey. Oh, you have to go. Hmm? Just don't do anything to try and antagonize her. Did you hear me? Okay. Oh.
Get me one of the gaps. I want you to join me immediately to Umomilan to give my father a message. Tell him that the true falcon still lives and nests in Umudike. Go immediately. My father will understand. Yes, my princess. What is wrong with your princess? Is she hurt? No, it's not that one. It's the other princess who come on. <laughs> the other princess? I know only one princess. Thank Amadio her for that. You don't understand. Mama, Guma, the princess is in trouble. And you've got to do something. What has Guma, the princess, got, got to do with the man? Or oh, are they fighting? No. No, I'm not making sense. I have to explain. <laughs> You're right, I don't understand. So you better start explaining. I don't have all day for that. Guma, Guma, it's actually the princess of Umum. And I believe I'm afraid she's in danger. How dare you come to me with such ridiculous lies? Have you no respect for your princess anymore? Shh, shh, shh. Listen to me. I'm not lying. The person you know as Uma, the slave girl, is actually the princess of Uma. And she needs your help now. <laughs> I can see you've gone off your senses. Because Uma is a slave girl that I saved from the forest. Okay, she has no family and, and, and she doesn't want to talk about it. Have you ever considered why? My princess, she was actually sold into slavery by someone who wanted her out of the picture. And I believe that someone knows her whereabouts now. You're serious, aren't you? Alright, go ahead and tell me this story, unbelievable as it is. And tell me why the princess, Ma, assuming she is a princess, will be sold into slavery by someone. My prince, it's a long story. That is the whole story, Prince. And now I think Princess Adese has found out. But how? Uma has always avoided the, the heart of the village. I don't know. Understandably. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that the princess has sent a message to her father back at the village. And you know, something has to be done. It needs to protect the princess from her vile uncle. Mm. Everything is coming together now. I now understand. Igwe! Yes, what is it? I brought a message from Umudike. What message and from whom? It's from your daughter, the princess. Oh, how is she? And what is the message? She's well, Igwe. She says to inform you that the falcon still lives and nests in Umudike. What? She said you would understand better. Thank you. Your Highness, sir. The falcon 
still lives and nests in Umudike. Igwe, it's, it's my husband, the prince. He has put shame upon my face. He has humiliated me. I've come to tell you that I've decided to go home. I find I cannot go on with this marriage. What? What has Prince Ugoji done to you to make you change your mind against our union? What is it? He has insulted my dignity, Igwe. <laughs> He pushed me away only to consult with a lonely slave girl in the village. <laughs> he confesses he favors over me. <laughs> Princess, it is not true. It is true, Igwe. The other day I followed them to their meeting point. Why you the had them plotting to to elope together? Oh my God. <laughs> Igwe. I, I, I've made up my mind. I must go home. <laughs> my pride and dignity demands I do so. Princess, are you sure of what you are telling me? Are you sure? Igwe, I'm sure. I'm very sure. Even as I speak to you now, I am sure they are together. <laughs> the prince, the prince does not spare a moment for me. <laughs> Gas! You're hiding, Go and find the prince and his friend Ikenna. Tell them I want to see them here now. Okay, your Go immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm disappointed in you, Ma. Ever since I met you, it's been from one lie to the other. I'm sorry, my prince. As much as I loved you, I, I didn't know if I could trust you or anybody. There you were engaged to my cousin Adeze. For all I know, the entire village of Umudike could be in league with my uncle, can't you see? All I see is a worthless relationship, Ma. Worthless. You say you love me, but you, 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 you couldn't even trust me. What is love without trust? Don't say that, my prince. Please try and understand. You know, what I understand is that you found me too weak to help you out. Ugoma, I found you in the forest. You could have been a murderer. A thief, a witch, anything. But I loved you. Why couldn't you trust that love? Ugo, please. I'm very sorry. Now I realize I should have told you everything from the beginning. But I was too scared. First it was me. I was the first to disappear, kidnapped by my own uncle, then my father. Now my mother is being confined as a mad woman. It was as if everything and everyone ganged up against me. I couldn't bear it happening to me again. Ugum, if you we... were in my shoes, wouldn't you have done the same thing? But we had love. We had love, real love. Doesn't it count? Please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. I love you too. Now what happens? I'll help. I'll have to tell my father the whole story. Your uncle has to be made to pay for everything, all the sorrow he has brought into your life. Will your father believe the story? Will he believe us? Yes. My father is a just man. And I know that when he knows the real facts of this, this, this issue, he's going to do the right thing. Mom, well, you have to go now. As soon as I know that this dilemma has been taken care of, I will see you, and we will be happy again, okay? Thank you, my prince. Goodbye, my princess. Goodbye, my prince.
Igenna. Who is this slave girl that my son is seeing in the village? Am I talking to someone? Answer me now. Who is this slave girl that my son has so demeaned himself with? Igwe. Igwe, her name is Mma. <laughs> and she stays with the medicine woman outside the village. So it is true. It is true that the prince is seeing a slave girl. Guys, Igwe, Igwe, now go and fetch that slave girl called Mma to this palace. Yes, Your Highness. Definitely, she must be punished for leading my son astray. Yes, Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. Igwe, I told you. you've just told me, look. As unbelievable as the story is, it is the truth. Mm. I haven't even finished. That girl that we know as Princess Ugoma, mm -hmm. her name is not Ugoma. Her name is Adeze. Iwo. She is Iwe Ikoku's daughter. Mma, Mma's uh, cousin. That is, that is why I need your help. I need to tell my father this story. And I need to make sure that he believes me. Because I know that Uma is in danger. She needs our protection. <sighs> I'm sorry, my prince. It may be too late. What do you mean? Your bride to be, Goma, or is it Adeze now? has found out about you and Ma and went crying to the Iwe who has consequently ordered that Ma be brought to the palace and be punished. Huh? Yes, they may be punishing her at the palace even as we speak. No! No! Oh, my prince! What is it? Have you gone mad? Father, you're making a very big mistake. If anybody deserves the whip, it is this impostor. Is it not enough you've humiliated your bride by stooping so low as to consort with a slave girl? Now you have the effort to insult her before me. Father, I will not only insult her. I will make sure that she and her father pay for what they did to Goma. They will pay dearly. Can you try to solve the princess and her father's name? by defending a cheap slave girl who is position hungry trying to reach to a greater status anybody is is position hungry it is this impostor and her mother of a father who, who, who killed this brother to take over his throne if what i'm saying is a lie ask her it, it's a lie I, I i don't know what he's talking about you don't know what i'm talking about Adeze. are you sure i don't know what you're saying he's lying then why did you change your name why did you come to this village pretending to be a Goma? By the way, where are your father's men? Because I know you sent a message across to him as soon as you found out that Ugoma was alive and staying in this village. Ugochi! Ugochi, why are you lying? Do you realize your accusation today, Gwe, is tantamount to treason? Have you enough evidence to prove this? Father, I know what I'm saying. Iwe Ikoku 
sold his only brother's daughter into slavery and killed his brother so that he and this impostor can, can take care of their selfish desire. Father, I don't know what would have happened if Iken and I had not found this girl in the forest where the slave traders left her for dead. Now, this girl that we call the slave girl, she is the real princess of Umwame. Her father is the late Iwe. And this impostor is her cousin. It's a lie! Why are you lying? Oh God, why are you lying? Look, if she will only confess, you will see that I'm not lying, Father. She will prove me right. Why are you lying? It's a lie! It's true. It's true. Uh, what is it? Your Highness, one of the warriors we captured confessed that he was sent by the Igor for Mormon. Go and bring him here immediately. Do that immediately! Bring him here! Yes, Your Highness. Good. Father, when this warrior comes, you'll see that I'm telling the truth. I have never lied to you, Father, so please believe me this time. Are you and what is your mission here? My name is Alozi. We are sent by Igwe, Igwe Koku, to come and capture Goma, dead or alive. Who so is this Goma and what does she mean to, to him? Speak out! She is the one, she is the daughter of the late Igwe. How? Father, you see, Father, you see I wasn't lying. I have been fooled. Ikoku! Ikoku has made the mockery of my throne! Hey! I've been deceived! The people of Umudike have been deceived! What an insult! Gods! Gods! Take this warrior and this girl away! They remain prisoners until this intolerable situation is solved! Okay? Do that immediately! Oh, Aya! Yeah. Follow them! Immediately! Go with them! Go with them. Gods, Ikoku has made mess of me. He has insulted me. Ugachi, now send a message to Ikoku. Tell him to forget that seat or face a war from Umudike people. Yes, Father. Do that immediately. Yes, Father. What about to go, my father? Release her. Thank you, Your Highness. Get a mat to feed and clothe her as this house a princess. What a bitter pill to swallow. Imagine the Igwe of Umudike commanding me to relinquish my throne. He has the guts to tear me. I, the deadly feared lion of Umor. Feared by both men and spirits alike. Never. Not in this life. I will show him. I must make him see my scorn for daring to, to threaten me. Ezebo, you come at the wrong hour. Ikoku, I bring you a message from the gods. Finally, they speak. <laughs> the gods should have known better that they should have kept their mouth shut like they've always done. Oh, surely, you don't expect me to listen to them. Ikoku, the God said I should come and warn you. Your call has run over. Finally run over. Relinquish your hold of the throne before three days. Or face the full wrath of the gods. That is the message I bring to you. Not you too. 
not you. Well, let me tell you something, Ezebo. You and your gods can go to blazes. I have gone too far to turn back now. This is mine. This is my throne. The kingdom. Everything and everybody in this village is under my thumb. I cannot go out. Not without a fight. Well, we all are blessed with the free will to walk the paths of good or evil. Each man is responsible for his own destiny. You have chosen your own. Now you shall reap the rewards. The gods have spoken. I never believed I would set foot on the land of my home again. There was so much sadness, so much darkness. I never even believed I'll ever be happy again. The time for sadness is past, my love. I will take you on a flight of sunshine and joy, and all your past unhappiness. You've already given me enough happiness to last me a lifetime, my worthy eagle. To think I rejected and pushed you away. Now I wonder what I would have done without your love. See, I would have still come back for you, no matter how far away you pushed me. The place of the falcon is beside the eagle. Your place is with me, and there you will belong forever. Forever, my love. Mm -hmm. 